Hey everybody, this is Travis Kazer from Silver Lake Photo. Today's video we're talking about caring for your muslin backdrops, prepping them for a shoot when you first get them. Now, when you first receive a muslin backdrop or if you've stored it folded and really compressed it for a long time, you may see some horizontal and vertical creases in it and that's just due to the nature of cotton fabric. I mean, it's a little more prone to wrinkling when you when the, the fibers are new, but as you use it and crunch it around, those break in and they get better and better to, to use the more you have them. So when you first get them though, you can steam these out and some people do, but it's, it's tedious. It takes a long time. The quickest, it's like an industry secret for you guys. The quickest way to take care of this is just spray it down with some warm or hot water. Now we're going to do this because we, although we have it in our care instructions, when we set up and do this live, people are always amazed at how quickly it works and it doesn't take very much water. But when I'm on location, um, or sometimes just a quick fix in the studio, I'll use a, one of these uh, spray bottles that I can get at a home improvement store. They're inexpensive and they work pretty well. If I'm doing a large backdrop or lots of them, these weed sprayers are phenomenal. I mean, they're $20. You just pressurize them, pump them up a few times, and you can spray these down front and back. Now, watch carefully here. We've got a light set up to kind of accentuate the wrinkles, make them look as bad as possible, just so that you can see them in the video. But obviously for shooting purposes, the more you can get that light sort of pointed at the backdrop rather than skipping across it, you'll minimize any draping or wrinkling rather than accentuating it. So we're just gonna cover these with water and you can go as much as you want. We don't have a problem. Any Silver Lake backdrop is gonna be impervious to water. I can't vouch for the other guys, but these, like I say, literally you could take them out to clean them, hose them down on the front area, and you're not gonna have any running of colors or anything like that. As far as how long to wait before you fold them up, we get that question. Typically, I mean, in, in a matter of minutes, by the time I'm done shooting, they're ready to fold and, and be put away for storage. Grab it a little bit in back. All right, there we go. And like I say, literally, in the time it takes to spray them, the wrinkles fall right out. And once you take a light off the side, side, stop side lighting it and point a little bit of light directly into the backdrop, I mean, you're literally ready to shoot. So I hope you guys got something out of that. This is our method we've used for a long time. It works perfect. Um, stick around, sign up for our email list, subscribe to us on YouTube. We do little educational videos like this all the time. And thanks for joining us. Bye.